what's up everybody it's your boy jermaine welcome back to my channel only chasing time i'm making this video i'm in the car again you know i'm waiting for somebody to come out um and i just wanted to make this video real quick i don't i don't know how long it's gonna be hopefully it doesn't turn into a, a rant a mess of just word vomit but um right now i'm gonna tell y'all why i am not voting for joe biden and kamala harris i'm not voting for joe biden because I feel like Joe Biden, the laws that he passed in the late 80s and early 90s directly affected the black community in a very negative way. I think the laws that Joe Biden passed and the perception that he created of black people directly caused mass incarceration, low education attainment, uh, black people relying on the system, um, a lack of jobs in the black community, and just... Uh, you know, the, the perception that the black community has for substance abuse and mental health. Um, I think that uh, the laws that he passed in the late 80s and early 90s was a stand that Joe Biden and, and other Democrats wanted to take to show Congress and the country and the world that Democrats were tough on crime as well. Um, Joe Biden labeled black and brown people as super predators uh, he created a perception that, you know, black people were out to get him and his family and other members of Congress's family and the upper classes families, um, that we were all about crime and harming people. Now, let's not forget that back then during that time, the late eighties and early nineties, there was a crack epidemic that ran through the black community like crazy, right? Um, so that's substance abuse, which also causes, uh, mental health issues and trauma, um, you know, if you're if you're someone that works with substance abuse, you know that if you or someone else abuses drugs, if you don't have trauma before that, you, you're definitely going to have trauma now. So it's a it's a drastic, you know, mental health effect that you go through um, as a substance user. And uh, that's something that affected the black community during that time. And it was bad. It was very bad. It's not something to where, you know. You know, you you back then, if you were in the hood, you knew multiple people that were using drugs, crack. And instead of, you know, funding uh, clinics or, you know, whatever the case may be for help for the black community, um, Joe Biden chose to focus on a symptom of that mental health and substance abuse, which was crime and to tear down the black community instead of funding help. He funded the police department. He funded states to incentivize uh, expanding jails and, been, and building prisons. And it caused privatized prisons and uh, it directly led to mass incarceration. Um, you know, meantime, the whole time, uh, the black community is still voting for Democrats during that time and still to this day, um, which, you know, our school systems are worse than everyone else's. Our education attainment is lower than everyone else's. Our crime is still higher than everyone else's. Um, and, you know, we're relying on the system in a way that's detrimental to our futures. We're not participating in capitalism. We aren't owning homes. We aren't start starting businesses. Um, you know, and I say that as a part of like, you know, comparing it to our counterparts, right? And then uh, let's go back to the laws that he passed in the late 80s and early 90s and the way that that affected us. So we became targets, pretty much. Um, the funding of the police departments and, and the perception of black people had changed in a way to make us direct targets whenever it came to crimes, especially crimes that were being committed equally amongst black and white people. Uh, so uh, possession of drugs and uh, drug paraphernalia and the use of drugs. Um, although it was being used the sa at the same rate, black people were the targets. So instead of targeting cocaine use, they were, uh, you know, powder cocaine, they were targeting crack cocaine. Um, instead of targeting people with marijuana in the white communities, they were targeting the black communities. Um, and we all know how the justice system is. Um, we all know that, you know, as far as finances goes, you if you can't afford a lawyer, you get a court appointed lawyer who's, you know, buddies with the prosecutor and you're you're not going to do well. So um, the laws that he passed directly led to 
um, the mass incarceration that we see to this day, um, to the point to where jails and prisons, you know, stacked up with people in the way that they needed to expand and build more. And uh, it's still like that right now. Um, if you haven't read the book by Michelle Alexander um, called The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. Um, so check that book out. It has a lot of statistics that you can read through. Um, it has statistics to the point to where it's like, dang, somebody really did this work to find these stats and, you know, but it's a good read. It's, it's a lot of statistics, but it's a really good read and it's information that we all need to know. Um, and, you know, because of mass incarceration, because of the perception that Joe Biden has of the black community, um, even to this day, he, he says things like, if you're not black, and you're not black if you don't vote for me, you know, things like that. And things like um, saying that the black community isn't diverse with his vote, which is absolutely true because, you know, he feels like he has the black vote in the bag. And 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 honestly, he does. And I think that's unfortunate because um, he's done so much to harm the black community. Um, not only that, but to go along with Ice Cube, I see a video floating around Instagram um, of Ice Cube pretty much saying throughout the whole Democratic National Convention, um, there was no discussion about repair for the black community. Um, why do all these other uh, races of people and, um, you know, nationalities get reparations in this country due to um, things that the government has done to them, but black people haven't? You know, we can't even get services in our communities that's going to help us. We can't get decent schools with decent books and um, things like that. All we can get is, you know, locked down in the hood and the projects and the public housing and uh, relying on the system for food stamps and things that's not really going to benefit us in a way that, you know, we can propel ourselves into the upper middle class or the the upper class of the world and, um, you know, in a way that we can't even participate in capitalism. Um, we can't get a, a decent livable wage in our communities. Um, so that's, that's kind of why I'm not voting for Joe Biden, because I feel like the things that Joe Biden has done has directly d affected the, the black men and the black families, um, uh, to the point to where, We've been broken up. We've been um, mass incarcerated. We've been targets of the police and the system. And I think that has to do with the perception that he created and the laws that he created. Um, and whenever you think about Trump versus Biden, um, I always ask the question, as far as affecting the black community in a negative way, who's done more to hurt the black community, the black family, Trump? or Biden. Whenever I say that, I don't want y'all to think that I'm supporting Trump in any way. I think he's disgusting. I think he's a horrible president. Um, he's not diplomatic. Um, I think he he's a monster. You know, he, he split apart families too. Um, Hispanic families um, at the border. He has children in cages. It's not okay. But I'm talking specifically for the black family. Trump or Biden, which one has done more to hurt the black family? Um, do your research. Look up Joe Biden in the late 80s and early 90s, the, the speeches that he made on Capitol Hill and on, on the floor of Congress, um, you know, and the things that he said even to this day. Um, do your research. It wasn't an easy decision for me at first as far as, you know, who am I going to vote for? Because I've, I've known this information. Um, and I finally came to the decision that I'm not voting for either one of them. Um, I will vote for the local stuff and the representatives, but I'm not voting for, I'm not going to choose the lesser of two evils. I'm just not because I feel like both of them are terrible options. So that's kind of where I stand with everything. And I wanted to make this video to address it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. What are y'all doing this year as far as the election goes? Um, what do you think of my opinion? Um, what's your opinion? I, I honestly want to create a discussion and see, see where y'all are at with it. Um, yeah, comment down below, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Do your research on Joe Biden, please. Uh, check out the book, The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. And I will see y'all in the next video.
Peace.